Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to do be doing a tutorial on how to kind of get a beveled kind of look on some text using sweep nerbs, um, which will be pretty useful. I didn't I didn't learn this um, until I was just playing around with it myself. So uh, let's get started. I opened Cinema 4D. Let's go to MoGraph Mode Text and. Uh, for some reason, my Motex is pretty slow opening up, but we're going to do, um, um, let's do Clor. And let's go to, move it to middle alignment so it's directly in the middle there. And change the text because I want, I want some really cool text for this. Yeah, my Motex is pretty slow. Uh, let's go. S mm, no. Nope. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Let's go to yeah regular. There we go. That actually looks really good. So I'm going to do the horizontal spacing. We got to get everything right in here first before going into our um, beveled, um, kind of really cool bevels that we can do around here. Um, there are plugins for it. Um, I don't think they're free though, but if you want to do the bevels manually, you can just, uh, do this way. Uh, so what I'm going to do is copy and paste it using control C, control V. And what we have now is another text go to, uh, make editable. And what this does is it brings out, um, these hierarchy um, splines. Grab all the splines, move it out. So we just have the splines, and you could delete this mo text. And then select all these, clicking on the bottom one and holding shift. Click the top one. So now we have all of those connect objects and delete. And what that does is it creates a, um, if we uncheck this, it creates a spline of all the text so we can see it. I'm going to just create a camera on the front so we get everything nice and good. Uh, camera. There we go. So now we have our text and our spline. And what we want to do is, like I said, use a sweep nerb. So go in here, grab your sweep nerbs, uh, bring it down under here. And hierarchy does matter in this so we want to pull our spline into here but what we want to do is get another spline um, not draw one but we want to get um, cool uh, let's go cogwheel let's see what that does but what we want to do is what this does is the sweep nerves if I put the cogwheel in under here it just completely distorts it as you can see and just messes whole bunch with it but we do want the cogwheel above our spline but what we want to do is adjust it kind of to get the effect that we want um, let's not do too much teeth we don't want to make it too like abstract and kind of weird but we do want to size it down so grab your move or your uh, scale tool just scale it down to a really small um, size and then bring it under here in front of there and then you have your you have your bevel and um, if we render this out just real quick you can see all the um, edges and stuff in it and if we wanted to adjust the teeth in the cogwheel you see there's there's many different ways we can adjust this now that we put it on there. So, yeah, just uh, have fun with it. Um, use different objects. And obviously what we can do then is copy and paste this sweep nerbs and just move it back for our other bevel. Yeah, so um, if you... Uh, like how I did that, just um, give this video a like and 
Uh, watch for more tutorials. Thanks, guys.